Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Agrarian Skies. How are you doing today? I hope you're having yourself a good, a wonderful day. Oh, let's go creep. Let us go creep. Guess what? Midilok has updated our pack. And we are now in Agrarian Skies 141, which I believe is the last version before Alpha ends. Uh, and it's exciting because now like the pack is now starting to really take shape and now we're in a situation where we know what Jaded Cat has planned for us. Uh, uh, anyway, last episode we did the auto mining and as you can see I kind of cleared it up and look at this wall. I say it's pretty. You know, I say it looks good. Uh, if we take, the, take a look downstairs, I just want to see... Yeah, 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 look at this. We're now backlogging fine. Everything is going well, um, and this should be stopping, yeah, 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 yeah. So as you can see, with the system we set up, um, once we get a backlog, things will just hang around in the pulverizers, uh, and less power will be used. Uh, so that's very nice. I heard that this thing wasn't working no more, but it seems to be fixed already. Um, I think Medilock and Bevo did some... Did some high-tech stuff in the background to get the packager to work. Very nice. Uh, did I set this up on camera? I think I did, right? So we have a... All our output comes here, goes into the pulverize A, and then into the redstone furnace, and then into this chest, and then... Blah, 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 and then, and then, and then... <laughs> no, and then it goes up to the barrels. Um, and I did some wiring on the back end here. I also put in a roof, by the way. Not happy with it. Not happy with it at all. Oh, I covered it up nicely. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. So, before we do anything today, I want to show you something that I got from one of you as a tip. Check this out. We got the frequenced stone. And if I right-click with the die... Did you see that? Oh, goodness. I can, I can frequency it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's try out something. I'm not really happy with this black floor, to be honest with you. Um, it's a little bit is issuing. And, and what this does is change it in the entire chunk, I believe. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, it doesn't even use up the, uh, um, the die. So that is super cool. And you can do it on the walls as well. <clears throat> um, I want to try, I, I got a few different here that I want to try. Um, see if we can get a better color. I think white may be a good one, uh, but I want to try out cyan. Oh, we could also frequency it, right? So we could go like, yeah, we want it like this, like a grayish, bluish kind of feel. Let's go fully cyan, though. Oh, that looks like water. I quite like that, actually. The black or the, the dark gray and cyan looks great together, I think. <laughs> but this looks like an ocean now. Um, remember, we're going to try and make this look like a lab without chisel, which is hard. Uh, let's try green as well. Maybe over here. Ooh, I like that. Oh, it even takes the uh, block of quartz there. Cool. Oh, I like the green. It, it, it does look a little bit like grass, though. It does. Mm-hmm. Um... Let's do one more together, and then I'll have to take a decision. Lime. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> my, my eyes are bleeding. Um, okay, I'm going to have to take a decision on this. I believe maybe... Maybe the white was good. It's very, very bright, though. I don't like the texture in the, in the stone very much. I would like tiles here, but I can't find a block that gives us tiles. Um... But I'll figure that out. I want to show you something absolutely amazing, okay? So I went into the quest book and I started to uh, complete some quests. I did the hand grinding, which gave us a reward bag. And... But, um... <laughs> I can't believe it. But we actually got Cursed Earth and Blackout Curtains. We got this in, in the reward bag. And we're going to have some fun with this today. What I want to do is I want to get rid of this thing here. Okay, and I want to move a mob spawner to over here. So what I'm thinking we do, hear me out, hear me out. What if we take this away and take away the whole roundiness uh, of, of the base? Uh, it is pretty. I like, the, I like that it's um, round, but it's very, very inconvenient. Here, let me grab some cobble. Uh, 
some cover. Uh, so I hope everything is good with you. What what have you been up to lately? Are you playing? I want to know in the comments. Are you playing your own agrarian world at the moment? And if so, are you loving it? Because um, I get a lot of comments on this series, and I'm very very happy and grateful for them. Uh, maybe we do this, and then we take this out. So what I'm thinking is we'll have a square wall here. Uh, we'll take this whole box away. I'll, I'll chop it down sometime. That's going to be a huge work. Um, and then we have like a window here. Can I actually show you this or do I don't I have enough blocks? Boop. We do that and then we do like a window one two three maybe um, Or actually, you know what here. Let's do this boom Boom boom. Yeah, 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 this will be good. Okay. We do a window like so That's two there two there. So that's gonna be straight actually no <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, do we want to keep that though? You see what I'm thinking? We could have this indent. Hmm. I may not be terrible. It does look weird though. Let me count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would mean that we have a even number here, which isn't good. Fruiters. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to get the mob spawner up today, and then I I think I want to jump into, like, um, a magical mod here pretty soon. Um, maybe Tomcraft? Maybe Blood Magic? I don't think Botania, because I've done so many, so much Botania lately in other series, in other forums. Um, <clears throat> yes, this is going to be an issue for us, isn't it? What if we do this? What if we would extend this pathway... And we take you down. We move you. Yeah, right. That's going to be a corner there. So that's fine. And we do that. Yeah, that could work. So do two kind of rooms here. One where we'll put our mob spawner. And one where we'll put some other thing. Um, oh, I moved the smelter as well. It's terrible. We're going to move it. We're going to move it once again. I clearly got some work to do here. But I wanted to give you a piece of, an, uh, piece of my mind. Uh, another thing we need to do today is get rubber, okay? And the way you get rubber is take dirt, boop, put it in a sieve, and start sieving. And I think it's a 2% chance that we get a rubber sapling out of this. Um, and I'm a little bit worried considering how much dirt we've sieved. And I, to my knowledge, I don't have a single piece of rubber seed, which is craziness. Uh, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sieve some dirt. I'm gonna make sure that we can get that and then I'll build this up here uh, And what I'm thinking then just to just to make this super clear because I may maybe it isn't at the moment But I'm thinking we do a room here uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's just get this one one two three four five uh, The mob spawner is gonna have to be five by five. So then the wall would come here um, and how would that be? Yeah, 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 like so. Like so. Uh-huh. Yes, and mobs would spawn on this level, and then we'd put a dark window here, of course, so we can look in and see them being slayed. Now that we have Cursed Earth, I mean, we're going to automate the mob spawner. Did I say that? I didn't. No, 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 no. <laughs> but that's the plan anyway. Uh, so yeah, let me get working here a little bit, and let me sieve some of the old dirt. Hopefully, we'll get a rubber sapling. Uh, the rubber we need to make plastic, and plastic we need to make the machines uh, to automate things, so... Oh! Is that a rubber? Birch! I tell you what, stupid birch! I hate birch so much! Go to, go to hell, we don't even have a birch, we don't need it, we'll never, never use a stupid birch. Um, and yeah, I'll figure out something with the floor as well, so, so let me do all that and i come back to you. Oh, thank goodness for the Builder's Wand. It is amazing to have it in Agrarian Skies, I must say. Um, so I did put up two of these rooms. And I did expand expand everything below as well. So we got a nice um, underlaying safety platform thing, majingy. Uh, and maybe now it's a little bit easier to explain what I was talking about. Because I may have sounded confusing. And if so, I do apologize. Um... What I mean is, we're going to put the mob farm in here, with the cursed earth, um, and then something else in here. 
but I just want like two farm rooms like as oh and then we'll put windows in here and I think it will look really neat not sure what to do with this whole pathway but as I said I think I want to take this entire contraption down we don't need it no more because now with that we have cursed earth uh, we can we can spawn mobs right next to us using the cursed earth mm-hmm uh, didn't get any rubber saplings though. I tell you I sifted through I think 54 pieces of dirt got a whole bunch of crap. Let me show you uh, Got all of these carrots taters sugarcane pumpkins and normal seeds. We didn't need any of that uh, So I'm gonna need to create some more dirt and this is something that we need to automate pretty soon but uh, for now what I want to do is grab one of you uh, I'm gonna put Silk Touch on the hatchet. I mentioned this in an earlier episode and I haven't done it yet because then I don't need shears. Uh, and to do that, I think we do three, four of these. Silky cloth. Silky cloth. And then we need a piece of emerald. Boop. Look at all our materials, by the way. Wow. We are cruising with materials. Uh, and if we do that and that and that, we get a silky jewel. Jewel. Nice. 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 Very good. So now my theory is, uh, I'm pretty sure this works. If we plant you down and we take a bone meal and we grow it, we could do this. And I, I don't know if we'll be able to get saplings, but I think... Uh, I don't know. With the shears you're able to get saplings, but maybe this is different since we do in fact silk touch them. But look at that! Now we don't need no shears. I can put auto repair, or I have auto repair on the hatchets, so that's all good. And it's uh, just as quick as the shears. And why do we need the leaves, you ask? Good question. If we take the leaves and we put them in a barrel, we get dirt. Just like uh, we did early with the uh, saplings and rotten flesh and all that. Ooh, that gives me an idea. I do have a lot of rotten flesh that I may want to turn into dirt. Um, so, I wanted to show you that. I'm going to do some more dirt and hopefully we'll get a rubber sapling. I don't know if we'll finish this today, by the way. <coughs> like always with me, I seem to over... I seem to, to underestimate the project's width and breadth. Um, but it's fine. You know, we're making some good progress here. Uh, and I think this is going to look really cool. I'm going to have to take this down as well, aren't I? Stupid thing in the way. I'll tell you what. I'm having absolutely no luck. I think I've got everything you can get from dirt. Uh, except for the rubber. Uh, so I made a new auto sifter here. And I'm going to create some of these bad boys. Some upgrades. Some fortune upgrades. Uh, by the way, I got some machines here <laughs> in the floor. Uh, we're certainly gonna move that and tidy this up at some point, but for now this is okay. So, what you do is put them in there, and now it's using 26 RF per tick instead of 6. That ain't too bad for, for, for... I cannot believe it! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Freaking finally! Thank you, dirt! Did I really get it on the first fortune one I made? I think I did. Wow. Okay, I take you away, you stupid manual thing. I don't need you. Uh, put up, even put up like a dirt farm thing here. So I put the composting stuff in here, goes into the barrels, uh, pulls out into dirt. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna make that more pretty um, and things. But now we got the rubber sapling. Hallelujah. Uh, we gotta be careful though, because now that we have silk touch on the... Can I grow you? Yes. Now that we got Silk Touch on this, we need to make sure we get saplings back. So, uh, I think the ratio for a rubber tree is the same as uh, the ratio for an oak. So, I think it's fairly certain that we'll get at least one. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. And we got two. Oops. There. Boom. Very nice. What happens if I Silk Touch these? Oh, you can't sit touch up. Okay, cool. Hopefully that will uh, work. Um, so rubber, why do we need it? Well, I think I told you. We need it to make plastic, right? Here, I'm just gonna try. We have three. We got one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get them from this uh, silk touch hatchet. Okay, very good. Uh, so how much of this do we have? Ten. 
We may need a little bit more, but what we want to do with this is take it and put it in the redstone furnace that is in the ground. Uh, <clears throat> and we want to cook it up into raw rubber bar, and then we're going to cook this up into plastic. Um, and I want to see the, the things that we're going to need. We're going to need a grinder. Uh, this bad boy here, which requires two plastic sheets and a bunch of other things that we have. No issues. Inverse sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and I'm also going to want... Well, no. A grinder is enough to set this up now. Um, Machine-wise. I'm going to need some dark window. Dark glass, I mean. These... Which we can make, oh yeah, 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 we can make them using the black curtains, or curtain blackout, or blackout curtains, <laughs> that we got from the quest. So let's do that while the other thing is cooking there. Boop, boop, boop. Beautiful. So what these do is they will keep light out. So if I do this, if I break you, oh, it's already completely dark in there. But basically, light will not pass through these. So we can use them to keep it dark in there. Um, I also want to install an on-off switch, so for that I'm going to use a redstone lamp. So let's grab, gra let's grab, uh, oh my goodness. Inventory management. <laughs> Inventory management in Agrarian Skies. Ain't beautiful. I said earlier that I want to get into like blood magic soon, but maybe we do, um, oh you know what, can we, no, never mind. Maybe we do something else first. Maybe we do um, uh, Applied Energistics first. Because I, without Applied Energistics, suck. <laughs> I cannot keep track of things. So there we go. Good. We got a lamp in there. And that should be... Let's just double check if that lights up everything. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, no. Wait. It, it will. It will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Because we're going to... No. We're not going to bring it up. Oh, crappers. Do I want to bring the roof down, possibly? Because as you can see, this height level is fine. Um, yeah, I think I want to bring the roof down. Yeah, I'm going to bring the roof down so that the light will come. Let's just double check so I'm right about this. But if I put you there, can I? Get out of here, pebbles. There. Yeah, that lights up the entire floor. Very, very cool. Okay. Uh, grinder will go in the back. Do I? Do we have time? Do we have enough time left to do this? I better cut. Alright, hopefully we got everything prepared here now. I uh, wired the lever for our redstone lamp over here. Uh, now what we're gonna do is put this grinder that I crafted there up. And little interesting test here. I'm using a normal... Uh, or a basic leadstone flux energy conduit here, instead of the upgraded ones that we are using over there. And I just connected this to the upgraded one, so we'll see. And yes, that does give it power. Okay, so the grinder will be killing the mobs, obviously. If you know modern Minecraft, that is. Um, and what we want to do is, on the back, stick a chest. Boom. Uh, and we're going to route this uh, later, but for now, this is fine. Uh, and then cover you up. And now, soon comes the magic. So, you'll be grinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will kill any mob in a 5x5 five five, uh, room in front of it, which is this room here. So, what I want to do then is, now it gets dangerous. Um, let's break you. Boop. And put a cursed earth. And what we can do is water can this to make it grow. So, I'm not going to use all of them. Actually, what I may want to do, though, is use a little bit more... Uh, just to get a better spread here. Boop. I think that's fine. Um, oh, I should also build a drum. I'll probably do that later for the mob. Here, let's try. <laughs> this is going to be dangerous. Okay, here we go. If we water can it in the dark, as you can see, it spreads quicker. <gasps> oh, crap. I don't want a creeper to come out here and destroy things for us. But wow, we get mobs already. Um, let's do that again. Hi! <laughs> How are you doing, stupid idiots? Get killed! Get wrecked! There we go. Beautiful. Get a little bit more of this done. Yeah. As you can see, the, the cursed earth will spread. Oh! Did he ride the... No, he didn't. <laughs> idiots! Yeah, you're trapped. You're trapped. 
Okay, let's cover this up. That's fine. The, the rest of it will grow. And now what we can do is let the grinder kill them. And we can just flip this lever and no spawns will occur. Beautiful. And the items should have ended up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. We got ourselves an automated mob system. Just, you know, chilling next to, next to our base workshop thing. Um, I'm gonna do some cleanup in between episodes and I think I want to go with the white. I I put it down, I tried it out now for a while, I do like it. I don't like the roof so we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, but certainly some work to be done and I don't know how much of building you want to see in this series on camera. So I'm a little bit, you know, scared. I, I, I don't know exactly what you want to see. Uh, when it comes to agrarian skies, maybe you just want me to complete quests and stuff. I don't know. I enjoy doing it this way that, you know, we spend some time making things pretty, but we also make things functional. Um, but you let me know down in the comments, and that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching, uh, my friends. And um, if you do have any suggestions or tips, please do leave me some comments down below and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, of course. Uh, anyway, that's gonna do it. Take care, and I'll see you in the next episode.